Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are under pressure to turn the tide of bad publicity with their upcoming Africa tour and Archie could be a key player, according to a royal expert. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have faced a series of negative headlines recently including a backlash over their use of private jets and a privacy row over Archie. But editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine Ingrid Seward suggested Meghan and Harry could turn things around by letting the public see their son, who was born in May, during their tour of Africa. The royal commentator told, people will want to see baby Archie who could be the key player in this. I think if they show us a glimpse of Archie it could turn things around for the Sussexes. It's a small thing but it could end up being a very big thing in terms of better press coverage. They've had a tough run, this is a chance to make it better. A royal insider has also insisted the Sussexes tour has to be a success. They told Vanity Fair, they and their aides know this tour has to be a success, and everything has been planned meticulously so there is no margin for error. Next week, Meghan and Harry set off on their 10-day tour of Africa. Meghan will stay in South Africa with Archie, while Harry will also travel to Angola, Malawi, and Botswana. It comes after the couple prompted accusations of hypocrisy last month for taking four private jets in 11 days to luxury holidays and a visa in Nice despite being ego warriors and regularly preaching to the public about saving the planet. And they raised eyebrows over reports they did not visit the Queen during her annual summer break in Balmoral. Their reputations have also been damaged by ongoing rumors of a rift with Prince William and Kate. There was further criticism when it emerged that their new house Frogmore Cottage was renovated with an eye-watering pounds 2.4 million of taxpayers' money. And royal fans were disappointed when Meghan and Harry kept Archie's birth and christening secret. The Sussexes will travel to Africa by commercial flights following the private jet storm. It comes after their latest jaunt this week to Italy for the wedding of Mishi and Anu, who is believed to have set Meghan up on a blind date with the royal in 2016. They joined a host of celebrities to watch Misha marry her oil tycoon fiancé Michael Hess in Rome yesterday. She was previously married to Harry's friend Alexander Gilkes. Other names on the star-studded guest list included Sir Paul McCartney, Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner, James Corden, supermodel Carly Kloss, Orlando Bloom and his girlfriend Katy Perry. The Sun's royal correspondent Emily Andrews tweeted that the Sussexes were enjoying a bit of downtime before they begin their royal tour on Monday. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's upcoming royal tour in Africa beginning this Monday will be their attempt to overcome their bad publicity, one royal expert is claiming. British royal expert Katie Nicholl told Vanity Fair on Friday that the 10-day trip will be an opportunity for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to shine the spotlight on causes close to them. In addition, they will show off their five-month-old son, Archie Harrison Mountbatten-Windsor, who has not yet officially been seen in public. Prince Harry receives an apology from BBC for publishing Ray Straiter image that depicted his assassination. After a summer of scathing headlines about their private jet use, the Sussexes will fly commercial for their first long-haul flight with baby Archie, explained Nicol. And the expectations will be high once they get there. Their tour last fall to Australia, New Zealand, Fiji and Tonga was a rousing success but also came just months after their wedding and immediately after Meghan had announced her pregnancy. They were welcomed with open arms, their baby news celebrated at every engagement they attended and any talk of republicanism seemed to disappear the moment they touched down in Sydney," Nicol continued. When they returned home the Queen is understood to have written to them to congratulate them on a tour well done. However, Nicol shared that this year's royal tour is different and comes with high expectations from the couple. Sources close to the couple told Nicol that Harry, 35, and Markle, 38, are aware that there is no room for error that can result in bad publicity. This year, their trip comes after not only the private jet drama but what was perceived as a family snub when the Sussexes decided not to visit the Queen at Balmoral even as Meghan flew to New York for the U.S. Open a week later, said Nicol. The couple has hired an American PR firm to help with damage control, and sources say they hope the upcoming trip will help turn the tide. Meghan Markle, Prince William wish Prince Harry a happy birthday with sweet messages. Ingrid Seward, 
editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine, told Nicol Archie will play a crucial role in making this tour a success. People will want to see Bailey Archie who could be the key player in this, said Seward. I think if they show a glimpse of Archie it could turn things around for the Sussexes. Seward pointed out that royal babies have been essential in promoting positive press. When Prince Charles and then wife Princess Diana took an infant Prince William to New Zealand, his crawling in Auckland immediately made international headlines. William's firstborn Prince George was also highly praised following his visit to Australia and New Zealand in 2014 when he was less than a year old. It's a small thing but it could end up being a very big thing in terms of better press coverage, Seward admitting. They've had a tough run, this is a chance to make it better. Meghan Markle ends maternity leave to promote new charity fashion line. Nickel shared Harry and Markle have appointed an all-female staff who will be joining them in Africa. Their new private secretary Fiona Msowen will also learn the ins and outs of a royal tour from Samantha Cohen, who has been at the palace for over 15 years and used to work for Queen Elizabeth II. One source said the couple